We just got back from church, so we're really hungry. And I'm gonna share how I make rice blob, which is a Slavic, it's like an Eastern European, Russian, Ukrainian, Belarusian dish, which is very easy to make. A lot of these Slavic dishes that we grow up on are fairly simple, I would say. There are some things that are like a little harder than others, but very simple ingredients. But rice plow is pretty easy to do. It's just rice and you can do chicken or beef. I'm going to be using chicken thighs. You can do chicken breast if you want, but I have some chicken thighs left over. I made a chicken noodle soup yesterday, so I have chicken thighs left over from that and I'm going to be using that. I like chicken thighs because they don't get as dry as chicken breasts, but you can do chicken breast if you want, or you can do beef. I did beef as well and I'm going to be doing this in an instant pot because it's so much quicker it just takes 20 minutes if you're doing chicken 30 minutes if you're gonna do beef then i think i'm also gonna make some more kasha if you watched my other video i made a rice kasha one of my favorite things that my mom makes it's like a sweet rice it's gonna be a lot of rice today y'all that's okay it's good so i'm like munching on carrots because i'm hungry i'm going to trim the excess fat off of the chicken thighs and then cut them into like sizes probably this big prepping your ingredients ahead of time makes everything flow so much faster. I also have water in my tea kettle set to boil because you are going to need very hot water for this. If you're going to be doing it on the stovetop, I will leave a link to a stovetop recipe from Olga's Flavor Factory. Fun fact, Olga, she actually used to be my Sunday school teacher when we lived in New York and then she actually has a really great testimony to what God has done in her life, but she ended up getting married and moving down to Florida. She started this blog that has become quite popular, I would say, in the Slavic, Russian, Belarusian, Ukrainian community when it comes to cooking. She's an amazing cook and she shares a lot of really great Eastern European recipes. So I will leave her recipe down below if you're gonna be doing it in a pot. Um, and then I'll leave the instant pot recipe for Natasha's Kitchen. Natasha's Kitchen is another Slavic, I believe she's Ukrainian blogger and she has her own cookbook and stuff. So I'm doing it in an instant pot, so I'm gonna set my instant pot to saute because I will be sauteing the chicken and the veggies. And while that gets really, really hot, I'm gonna work on trimming the fat off of my chicken and chopping it up. I actually just got off of the phone with my mom. I call, I actually texted her and asked her for her quiciel recipe. Quiciel is a weird, thick, jelly drink. If you've ever tried compote, compote is basically a homemade juice that you do on the stovetop using like cranberries, apples, whatever fruit that you have, berries, and then you sweeten it with sugar. So that's called compote, but quiciel is you take that compote and you add a starch to it, like potato or cornstarch, and it thickens up and you drink it, or you can eat it in like a bowl depending on how thick you make it. My husband loves it, so I asked my mom for her recipe and she kind of told it to me over the phone and I was like, oh, that actually sounds super easy to make. I can't believe I've never made it before, but I'm going to try making that maybe in a future video. I actually want to buy my mom a cookbook or like a recipe journal so she can write down because she has her recipes written down in like a bunch of different notebooks but i want her to write down some of her more popular ones because one day i won't be able to call her and ask her hey mom how do you make you know i don't want to think of that but it's inevitable so i'd love to get her something that she can write down topped up my chicken have it here in a bowl i'm going to add some salt and pepper to here and i'm also going to be seasoning the rice once everything is in the pot with like cumin paprika and a few other Seasonings, you can use any seasoning that you want, but I am going to season the chicken with some salt, a little bit of pepper. Before I add the chicken to the Instant Pot, I'm going to finely dice some onion as well as julienne, some carrots. I'm using baby carrots because I'm going to be using a knife. I don't have a mandolin slicer. If I had a mandolin slicer, it would have been made easier and I would have used my regular sized carrots, but these are so much easier to julienne using a knife. So onion, carrots, finely dice or dice, chop up, and then these you want to julienne into like long skinny pieces. So I'm going to do that right now so that these are ready to go once my chicken is in the pot. My Instant Pot is nice and hot, so I'm gonna add the chicken to that. I already have some olive oil in there. I have the fan going, so you might not be able to hear me that well, but I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of butter approximately to the chicken. And then I'm gonna toss in the onions and saute them until they're nice and soft. While the onion softens, I'm going to make myself a drink. I've been loving a Diet Pepsi with a whole lime. I already cut my lime in half and I'm going to juice it into my glass here. My little fancy glass with some ice. I don't know, this is just so refreshing. I know Diet Coke, Diet Sodas have a bad rep and I never really cared for them, if I'm being honest. I actually want to try the Poppy one. Poppy came out with a new cola version. Ollie Pop has been had one and I want to try that one as well. They're just more expensive. Diet Soda is so much cheaper, but is it best for you? No. But once in a while, you know? Once in a while. 
so refreshing. The onion is softened, so into the onion now I'm going to add my Julian carrots. I would have done more because my husband loves carrots, but it's such a pain to do it with a knife. If you guys have a way, a method to Julian carrots the easy way, let me know because it's one of the things that I hate the most. And I want them to be like long, skinny, not chopped because I do have a food chopper. Alright, so I added my carrots to there and now to the carrots and I'm going to add my seasonings. So, salt, pepper, cumin, paprika, and coriander. I actually ran out of coriander. So we have some whole coriander seeds that I ground up in my spice grinder. I actually need this for my coffee beans, but I had to clean it out and I have some coriander in here. So I'm going to add all these to the pot. And I usually don't weigh out anything. I eyeball it, which is what we're going to do. Paprika, cumin, and then some salt and pepper. My battery died in the middle of me talking, so I'm not sure how much you guys heard or where it cut off, but I added the spices in and gave it a big mix. Now I'm going to spread my rice evenly over the top. I'm doing two and a half cups of rice, and I would recommend a long grain rice. I'm using basmati. You can also use jasmine or a short grain brown rice. The reason is because they don't get as mushy when they're cooking. So spread that evenly over the top. Don't mix it. And then you're going to take a whole head of garlic and you're going to slice it in half this way and you're going to put it with the cut side down just like this with the skin and all without peeling it cut side down and then the last step is adding in three cups of a very hot water on top without disturbing the rice once again and then use the back of a spoon to poke like six holes in the rice plop the lid on set it to high and cook it for 20 minutes I went to the store specifically to buy jasmine rice. Last time I made kasha with basmati rice and it's not the same, it's a lot more crumbly, it doesn't hold together as well, so I would recommend jasmine rice. If you want to watch the recipe for that video, go ahead and watch. I'll try to link it here. Hopefully I won't forget. This is a chicken thigh noodle soup that I made yesterday. It was so easy. I just plopped some chicken thighs into boiling water with some spices, bay leaves, peppercorns. I still didn't take some of the peppercorns out because I didn't strain the broth and I cooked the chicken in that broth for like 40 minutes and that's what gave it that flavor. And then I took out the chicken, shredded it, added it back in, added in some noodles, carrots. I didn't do celery because we don't have celery and it's so flavorful and really good and super simple. So if your kids love chicken noodle soup, look no further and I think that was my pool. Yes it is. It is done. Growing up, soup was always the first meal in a course. Like my dad never ever 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 ate until he had soup first, whether it was borscht, kapusta, whatever, it was always, always soup first. Now what you're going to do is take out the garlic heads and remove the skin, keep the garlic. I just kind of like squeeze them out and I'm going to mash them up and add them back to the plov. You then give everything a good mix and that is it. That is plov, essentially. I didn't add that many carrots because I didn't want to stand here julienning carrots that long. But the more carrots you add, the more colorful it's going to be in terms of like the orange. It's okay. Let's give it a try. I'm going to use the same bowl that I used for the garlic. Let's taste it. Let me taste a piece of chicken. Mmm. I think it needs a little more salt. Spices are perfect, just needs a little bit more salt. This and the kasha is perfect for like the colder days. Today's kind of like a little bit chillier day.